Hi everyone, welcome to the channel Chronic Colouring Down Under. I'd like to thank those who have subscribed so far and welcome those who are watching for the first time. My name is Sarah, I'm from Victoria, Australia and today I'll be doing part two of three of a colouring book and supply haul. So if this is something you think you'll like, grab a drink, put your feet up and enjoy. Hi everyone, hope you're doing well wherever you are in this crazy world. Um, today, as I said, I have got part two of three of my colouring haul, book haul and supply haul. Um, I've learned a really big lesson. Don't let your haul items bank up too much to the point that you don't know what you've actually got in your boxes because I have found a heap of brushes <laughs> but that's okay they're gonna get used I know I bought um, and again sorry before I get into it um, this is stuff from Christmas through to now so yeah we'll get going so as I said I've, in my last video I showed you some Princeton uh, paint brushes that I had purchased and those will only be used for um, watercolours and the ones the acrylic ones obviously for acrylic these ones um, I can't even remember where I got them from I don't know if I've got them off Amazon or a cheap shop. I don't know. But these ones I know. Yeah, especially these ones are more for um, adhesives, gessos, um, glitter, paint, those sort of things. Um, so I just wanted completely separate brushes for them because I've already wrecked one brush from using another brush I didn't really want to use yet um, I think these were off oh, I really think these were off Aliexpress but yep yeah, just tiny detail brushes I have really really shaky hands a lot of the time so I certainly didn't want um, to spend a lot of money on these if I'm no good with them so I'm pretty sure I got these off Aliexpress to see how I go with them um, just some more eyeshadow applicators um, I was using cotton buds a lot and then um, they you know one use and you sort of throw them out and I think I saw these on Kathy's channel spicy cat colors and I like the fact that they're longer, not the little ones. And, you know, you could get a few uses out of each one at least. So I know they were definitely off AliExpress. Sorry for the glare. And then I got some silicon um, brushes. I don't know what you call them. They're like shift. I think they call them shifters where they actually shift the paint. So, yeah, I... Probably won't use them for a bit until I get a little bit more confident with using paint but I thought they were pretty cool and they also double up and have the dot bits at the end I think they're used for nail art I could be wrong though so don't hold that against me all right getting them out of the way and the next goodie I got is this. I should have taken this one out of the bag. And I've left my scissors out in my car. I got this. It's a stamping tool. And it's basically... Oh, I've got to stick it in. Okay, because I'm thinking, why is it falling apart? But it's to rub over the back of your stamp to make sure all your stamp is evenly the inks distributed evenly 
and I thought I wonder if I could do that on the back of colouring pages with a couple of things that I want to try. So yeah, if it doesn't get used for colouring it will definitely get used for stamping. Oops. Now, what's next? I got some pens. I got, I'm slowly building up my little collection of um, the Faber-Castell pit pens. Uh, these are the, sorry, bring you down a little bit. That helps the glare. Yeah, so much not. <laughs> um, that's the skin tone. And main reason I wanted the skin tone because I'm really every time I try to do well with my skin I get the only time I do well with my skin I should say is when I do an alcohol base obviously you can't do an alcohol base when um, you've got a double-sided book and I thought I'll give these a try in my double-sided pages because they don't bleed through so I've done I've used one in one page and I was pretty happy with it. So, yep, really happy with that. I got these by accident. <laughs> um, these are calligraphy pens. Um, I can't do calligraphy to save myself. I can do faux calligraphy, but I loved the colours in here. As we all know, I love my muted colours and I wanted a white and a black um, pit pen so I thought oh, I'll get the, this I didn't realize that the calligraphy ooh, tip is like oh, come on that maybe if I put my hand there so it's yeah it's not very easy to color with so I'm not sure what I'll do with them. Um, I might even chuck them in the post and send them to one of my YouTube buddies who do that sort of stuff a lot better than I do. <laughs> um, I got a white pit pen bullet nib. This was so hard to find, just the bullet nib one. That's all I wanted and yeah so I'm going to try I wanted to try this to see how it would go in replace of gel pens you know how when you go over red or something in a gel pen and it just comes through pink so I'm going to see if that will work and then I got a orange metallic yellow um, hybrid dual metallic for some reason I didn't have this one in my collection oh I am so sorry about this lighting it's really pissing me off um, a gold straight gold and a silver I got two each of those of course I always have to have spares of those sort of things and then I got Oops, some stamps and stencils. I've got a new brick stencil. And that's just from Lawn Fawn. Nothing special about that. Um, I'm redoing my journals and my um, swatch folder. And I'm thinking, I know you're thinking, that's so much work. But I'm, I enjoy doing that sort of stuff. Sometimes, um, you know, if I, I want to put pen to paper or pencil to paper, but I can't be bothered colouring, I don't mind swatching. Um, so I've bought some stamps to help with my new journal. And they're really cute. And these were just off. That one was off Etsy. That one was off Etsy. And this one was off Etsy. And these ones were all off AliExpress, I believe. I apologise. I'm 
so sorry. A brick one. Balloon numbers. Um, Post-it notes. And film, which I thought they would be pretty cool for something different for a swatch box. Okay, put them over there. Then I got some more, get the boring stuff out of the way, more of these. I can tell I've been colouring today. Um, I get a really hard lump on my finger if I don't use that. Um, I got one of oops I got this from Kmart it's just a paintbrush wash I would love one of those ones what are they the puck ones but they're so expensive and then I saw um, the one that Lucy from Lucy just adds color and I happened to be in Kmart one day on my very few outings and I saw this one for $4 and it's got a lid and everything so I thought yep that's perfect and I won't feel bad I don't want to go and buy a heap of really expensive things for watercoloring if I don't really get into it um, this I know I got for Mother's Day. My youngest son gave me this and another one, another present which might be in, I don't know if it's in this haul or the next haul part. Uh, it's a water brush case. I thought it was really cute. So yeah and it's like hard in side so it's not going to wreck the material oops anything so yeah thought that was really cute he picked that out all by himself um also when i was in kmart i thought i might oops, sorry try these water brush uh, watercolor brush pens uh, it's just 12 colors and I thought if I liked them, they will be perfect to go in um, like one of my travel bags. And I'd probably keep in the case nice and compact. And then, I don't even remember what's in this box. So we're doing a mini unboxing right now. Okay, we've got a few little goodies in here. Ah, I remember what I bought in here. Oh, how is this? This with my name on it. I didn't order that. That was just part of it. And it's from a shop called, I don't know if you can see that, not just a card calligraphy. And I only got a couple of things, but I was still looked after. This gorgeous little tag, which I will keep. And then I got two of the... Is this the fairy dust? No, stardust. Um, Colour, like the pearl colour ones. And I chose to try and find to buy individual because, again, I knew I really, really wanted this one. Um... And I have one one or two sets already of the pearl colours and I didn't really want to buy any more just yet. Um, so to make it worthwhile, I also got a meteor colour. And this one is Medusa. So I look forward to playing with them. I totally forgot about these. Oh, and I got a little container with them just a six holder what's this oh and I got this will be I got a liquid chrome mirror effect pen totally forgot about that so I might put that out with my pen so I don't forget it I might put them out of the box so I don't forget it so yep that was something that I just purchased myself a while ago and obviously totally forgot about. I get distracted too easily, but how gorgeous is that? 
Like that's just such a beautiful little touch. And those sort of things, you know, that makes me want to buy from her again, just for that little um, extra detail. And that's her details on the back. She does calligraphy for you as well. So if you're in Australia and interested, over there next thing I do know what's in this one and I had forgotten I bought these and I can't believe these were a Christmas present and I cannot believe I haven't played with them yet again you get distracted you forget what you've got these are the Karen Deco brush pens these are not cheap so that's why I've only got the pastel colors so far and oh, oh, oh. look at them <gasps> they're just so pretty and I'm, I'm might do a video if anybody's interested on them I have like this is the first time I've literally looked at them oh Ooh. oh you can't see God, this lighting's terrible. I'm so sorry, guys. I wonder if I do it on a cardboard. So what's this colour? This colour is... Shape before use. No, that's not the colour. Orange. <laughs> oh, I really hope you can appreciate that. I'm going to get lots of dislikes for this video, I think, because of the terrible lighting. That, oh, these are just yum. Oh, I was hoping I wouldn't really like them because now I want to get more. It'll be just one set at a time, though, because I just, yeah, they're not cheap. <laughs> um, and it comes with a little booklet on how to use them it's one marker multi-surface art so yeah and i got these from washygang.com which is an australian site i small business i buy quite a few things from there i love their um their website absolutely awesome awesome service just great girls so that's the pigment deco brush Karen set and that's the pastel colors I feel a bit bad that I haven't used them yet now now on to the chooky bookies oh first one is whoops which is which has been out for a while and it just kept getting pushed I know I only got this a couple of weeks ago it just kept getting pushed to the bottom of my Amazon cart because I'd see other things and I'd be like oh no I want that but there is oops, sorry guys plenty of uh, flip throughs out there it's just yeah cute and sassy and not yeah horror yucky this is my kind of halloween but mind you and i haven't looked right through it but it would be cool if there was a couple of really ugly witches in there with big crooked noses and warts on them <laughs> that'd be yeah cool see that's a bit sexy for me maybe because yeah she, her legs are too long to be my legs and my boobs wouldn't be covered even if my hair was that long <laughs> We all know about it. We all know about the old gravity. <laughs> That's cute. Okay, stop talking. <laughs> Cameron got me again. Victorian dresses. This has been on my, oops, um, save to cart, no, save for later list for ages. And I thought, no, nah, it's fine. Got to go in. I love Victorian period stuff. Put chibi, chibis in the mix and, yeah, it's pretty cool. I already have a couple of other ones, but I I think what I was delaying getting it, I love, I'm pretty sure this is Louisa May, isn't it? Yes. 
she's like i love her books the only thing i'm not real keen on are her eyes i'm really a bit i like the eye to be full circle if that makes sense so yeah i might end up making this a, my own spooky book and have all their eyes blacked out or something if i can't work out how to do it properly i might have to have a look at how other people have done the eyes to make them look good but otherwise besides the eyes i love the book because yeah victorian i would love a book on pioneer era in australian i would like like early settlement the next one is tiny cats totally forgot i had this book again if you're a cat lover you're gonna love this super duper cute and i have to stop buying cat books i don't need any more i have got plenty i'm sure if i got a prompt of a cat having a massage in a spaceship i'd have that prompt covered the amount of cat books that i've got oh that's cute so oh, cats and chibis i've really got to slow down on so yep very happy with that tiny cats by coco wyo a couple more disney books told you i mixed it up a bit um I, this is one of their grand block fates and I believe that is like festival or party and there's 60 pages in this and they all are oh, oh no happy as with this book oh born and so I'd say that's happy anniversary just married yeah so all celebrations oh merry christmas all my favorites oops i think that was either my pantry door or the rescuers or thunder and i really hope it was my pantry door so fates again if there's anything you see you'd like a full flip through don't hesitate to ask a B C D A B C D <laughs> I have wanted this book I reckon well let me see when it came out no this has been out longer than 2020 yeah 2018 okay and to get it in Australia back then and I kept pushing Back in 2018, I don't know what year it was, but for quite a while we could buy from any other Amazon in the world. We could buy from Amazon US, we could buy from Amazon France, UK, Japan. Now we can't. We can only buy from Amazon US. Thanks to our government with their tax system and a very big known businessman here in Australia cracked the pooies about it all and so now basically we're limited unless we buy one of those um mailing services like where it gets mailed to a but you have to get one for each individual country so if i wanted to buy something from america um i have to then send it to an american address and then they'll post it out oh anyway and then I didn't meet the deadline like it was June 30th one one of the, I think it was 2019 and I didn't have enough money and this one had to make the cut that I couldn't get and then from there on trying to get it it was going to cost me like $120 $150 just ridiculous prices sometimes it'd be on um on book no I don't think I ever saw it on book depository Anyway, when the beautiful Danny shared what her awesome husband Sam, Samuel Buttons, thank you Sam, found, discovered the Lyrica site. This was one of the first books I looked for and 
I thought, oh, it's there. I won't bother getting it straight away. I'll get other things. And then it was unavailable for a while. I was like, oh, you're kidding me. This is history repeating itself. Then it popped back up. So bang, yep, got it for Christmas. Just absolutely love it. So as you can guess, it's all alphabet and corresponding uh, film character. I have no idea who that is. Hercules, H for Hercules, I for Dinosaur. <laughs> I don't know that character's name. I just, I'm thinking that's the good dinosaur, is it? J for Jasmine. K for, no idea, because I haven't seen Frozen. L, I'm guessing that's going to be Little White Rabbit. What's his name? Mo. Mo. Next page. Nemo. <laughs> and so on. You get the drift. So I'm really, really happy that I got this. And these books, like, if I, if I ended up colouring every single Disney um, Hatchet Heroes book that I've got, I would be Superwoman. A lot of my Disney ones are purely for collection. Um, colouring in too of course but yeah definitely um, I'm not going to stress if I don't um, a a postcard book of Johanna's Worlds of Wonder and this will be going in my compact colouring stuff and again, it'll be worth your while watching. But, yep, nice size to have in there. And probably a good idea for some fine liners for some of them. Or extremely sharpened pencils. That's cute. Don't ask me what it says. I have no idea. I just know it's 24 postcards. Next one, and I'm really excited about, and I do have another one of the classics to colour. I love my history. I love, um, you know, classic literature. And when I found these books, I was like, woohoo. And I think the other one must be in the next haul. But this is The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn. And the art's not the best but I'll have fun with it I don't regret buying it and it's got sort of a bit of the story of Huckleberry Finn to it and I haven't read Huckleberry Finn since I was probably 10 so yeah it's probably not a book that um, is really encouraged these days But yeah, I was pretty happy with that find. Classics to colour. Huckleberry Finn. Ugh. I've got to keep looking, sorry guys, because of that stupid glare. I don't think I'll do another video in this weather. And, well, there you go. There's a sneak peek of the other one that I've got. I've got Wind in the Willows, which you'll see in the next haul. Another Disney... And this is one I've wanted for a long time too. And I bit the bullet and finally got it. And it's Disney Vintage. This is one I definitely wouldn't mind if I never coloured in. Um, especially because it is double sided. But if I do, I certainly don't mind that either. But yeah, a lot of the old characters, which... I love but I haven't had a real good see I'm really naughty when I get my parcels I have a really quick look and then I'll put them in my haul and then I tend to forget about them which is not cool because I get anxious and you know want to color in them and everything and it's like well no not until I show them and and then I just get distracted with life and 
yeah but this one is definitely I will not mind if I do not colour it in because I am a huge Disney fan and if it stays black and white for its life in my hands I am totally fine with that oh that is so Darren oh Darren reminds me of Donald Duck lucky you can't hear me mandolin so many flip throughs of this on the channel I love Maria Troll and this is also like she's an auto buy for me um, and her books are also if I never get to colour in them that's not the goal though I do really want to colour in them but if I didn't I wouldn't mind though because I just love her art so that's Mandolin by Maria Troll or Troll A sorry Maria and I've got Million Magical Creatures totally forgot that I got this one I could have pulled that out for um, Mayo May really cute book I agree with a lot of others that this is probably is her best I haven't bought the core the sweets one I'm not really into food coloring so yeah but this one's really really cute really happy with that this one is the fart fairy and this had been sitting in my um save for later and I reckon I will get her other books. It is pretty cute. Um, there was a belly button fluff fairy or something. Um, might have on the back of them. Oh, yeah, belly button fairy, freckle fairy, sock fairy, and the knot fairy. And, yeah, I thought I'll just buy one to see how it is. The paper's not too bad but it's pretty thin as you can see through I don't know if you guys will be able to tell you can see through the other side but yeah this would be a really love these books would be really lovely like if you colored them all in and then gifted it to someone you know when they turned five or something um five or six that'd be a really special thing to do this book dedicated with the love to everyone who has a sense of humor and a sense of smell and to my precious grandchildren who taught me to laugh at farts <laughs> that's so cute yeah so that's yeah I might do that I might I might get a girly one no girls fart too well they do in our house um I might get the belly button one as well and then try and color them in for my first grandchildren's fifth birthdays if i ever have grandchildren otherwise it'll be going to someone brown paper mouse enabled by my beautiful pixie pal and i believe she was enabled by gorgeous jamie i love the simplicity of it that's all got plenty of mouse books but the simplicity of this was what got me so I'm looking forward to doing a page in that like I could even see like doing crayon in this but doing it like rough and um, when I say rough like not worrying about going out of the lines or filling everything in and being perfect like just having fun like your five again so really cute book it is very thin though um but all original pages how many pages does it have two four six eight ten twelve no it has to have more than oh i don't know by the look of that it's only 12 but it could be, yeah, I don't know. But really cute book, like that one. And we're nearly finished. So I'll quickly pause before it outs me. 
Okay, got in before that one. Next one is Fairy Houses 4 Colouring Book by Stephanie Ellsworth. 25 original designs, and I believe it. I'd be surprised if there be doubles. Really cute. Right up my alley with colouring quirky houses and architecture. Love it. Again, I can do a full flip through, flip through if you are interested. So that's Fairy Houses 4 by Stephanie Ellsworth. And the last one for the day is The Penguin Family, The Cute and Crazy Critters Village by Fern Brown. I love Fern Brown's work. I, I had the fox one. I don't have the mouse one because I have the mouse nice little towns and I was going to get the bunny one at Easter time but I, I just wasn't feeling it and so now I'm really trying to follow my gut if I'm not 100% feeling it I'm not going there but this one yep yeah, kept getting pushed out and I was like no nah, it's got to go in now like oh hello the penguin tourist I just yeah simple but with a bit of detail and bordered which makes me happy and I'm sure many others so yeah that one's really cute and that is the penguin family coloring book now just going to point out you'll notice that's black I don't know if it's just I'm extremely lucky but can any other Aussies tell me when they get a black background book that has been I'll double check to make sure it has been printed in Australia yep printed in Sydney New South Wales do yours curl because I don't have a problem with a black page curling if it's been printed in Australia so I really, really feel for my US mates when they when I see their pages curl and all that sort of stuff, because where our paper, I'm I like our Amazon paper. So there, I said it. <laughs> where yeah, I mean, there's some things that no, nah, I'd probably copy, but. I don't have an issue with ours. So if there's any other Aussies out there, let me know what you think of the Amazon paper in Australia. And if it, anybody else, was there anything that grabbed your attention and you'd like to see a video on something in more detail uh, or a flip through of a book or something that just caught your eye, let me know. Thank you guys for watching and supporting me on this awesome journey with you. Um, if you enjoyed the video, give it a big thumbs up. It helps the channel. Um, and if you're not subscribed yet, maybe think about subscribing. Hit the notification bell so you know when the channel has a new video. Share with your friends, comment below. But most of all, stay safe. And remember, colouring is cool and kind. Bye.